Drive, 10 at 10, continues with No Wait Weather. A little roadside delivery. Indeed. How about that? that is yeah. The case. yeah, what a wonderful event, though, nonetheless. And uh, I'll tell you what, weather wise, it's been a slap in the face after a very mild weekend. And this morning may have heard a few whispers of wind. Take a look at these peak wind gusts we saw around the region as we woke up to our day approaching 50 miles per hour in Fargo. We exceeded that value in Sisseton and in Grand Forks. So very windy and wind chilly as well. Now as we take a look, well, it didn't get very warm today and the first three quarters of the day very windy and wind chilly. The winds are settling down. They're under 10 miles per hour. Still from that chilly northerly direction, your temperature 9 feels like 4 below Grand Forks right now. We have a temperature that is cool. It's 8 degrees. The wind is calm, though, so no wind chill to speak of. And air temperatures have slipped below zero in Roseau. And also out in the Bemidji area, 10s in Lakes Country for Fergus Falls, Wapaton. At that same reading, it's 12 this hour in Jamestown. Factor in the winds, and where we have it the strongest, we have wind chills in the 20s below zero and teens below zero in portions of north central. Minnesota tonight, another chilly one in the making. And for those of you who are not getting bitter cold, we're getting the other side of winter. That's some flakes of snow moving through southeast North Dakota into south central North Dakota from northwest to southeast. Stutzman County, still some showing up on the radar here. Not a lot of this showing up on the ground reports out there, but some flurries nonetheless are certainly a possibility. A dusting to at most a half of an inch, where we're seeing a little bit more robust returns on the radar here in the deep blue down near Sisseton, Lidgerwood, and heading in towards the Wheaton and Traverse County areas. As we take a look down to southern Minnesota, Iowa, heavy bands of snow producing snowfall rates upwards of an inch per hour down there, certainly winter-like. Now your hour-by-hour -hour forecast temperatures slipping below zero, dipping over the next couple of hours, and we'll wake up, rise and shine with temperatures in that 5 to maybe 15 below in some spots in northwest Minnesota, thanks to calming winds and clear skies. Where the clouds will be sticking around, those are going to help blanket in what warmth we have. We'll start our day in the single digits, but above zero in Fargo. The big difference for your Tuesday is we're turning off the valve on the wind, still northerly and very light. Now, midday, we'll see clouds building in the western counties. Temperatures just modestly climb, and we get above zero there in the midday hours as we look into northwest Minnesota. Winds become a little more westerly as we head into the afternoon, these clouds could yield just a few flurries of snow. I'm not anticipating anything heavy or really inconvenient. It's just a few flakes drifting through. Temperatures rising into the 20s. The warmest weather will be down in the southwest where we could see close to 30 degrees in Bismarck. We'll be dipping down into the single digits pretty quickly again tomorrow evening in northwest Minnesota with Roseau and Thief River Falls. Maybe even Ada with that fresh three inches of snow sneaking down to near zero or just below by tomorrow evening again. So the cool weather continues, just not as windy for your Tuesday. Four to seven degrees through the FM area as we start our day. 21 in the midday hour with light winds from the west. A few peaks of sunshine, but we'll see a few high clouds drifting in late in the day. Temperatures peaking only in the mid to upper 20s. It does look like the warmest weather will be down to the south and west. And we'll have that cool teens again in northern Minnesota, Bemidji, 19, Roseau, 15. Beautiful picture, Tiffany quality. This is Comstock, a lot of colors in the sky. Hey, we're going to be chilly now for the next few days. 35 with a possibility for some flakes into Thursday. And it does look like we stay cool all the way through the close of the week. Our best chance of some snow with light accumulations will happen in Fargo on Friday. But then look at the payoff. This weekend, 40s. Yes, and even 50s, and some models are hinting at our first 60-degree day as we see March come in. Well, cool, but really getting the ship going in the right direction as we go through that first full week. No kidding. Yes. That's pretty stunning 54 out there. Keep it up. Yeah. Yes. We're all interested when it comes to a mosquito trap that works, right? Later on Valley News Live 10 at 10, details on one that's designed to work on Zika carrying skeeters. Up next, looking for a summertime treat where you'll be able to get one starting tomorrow.